Okay, so I'm tired. I was looking at the footage, when of course it's blurry again. I did the same thing last time, trying to record myself doing these tutorials. I honestly wanted to wait until I had somebody to record them for me so that they wouldn't come out blurry and they would be good quality, but I'm trying to do it myself again, so I'm really sorry for the blurriness. If you guys even see this, to be honest, because who knows, I might not even upload it. But yeah, I'm out of breath. Hello, my name is Diamond, and today I am here to teach y'all how to twerk. I will definitely be getting out of breath during the commencement of this video. So, coldest water bottle will be helping me out with that. Oh, I put this in the freezer and it's literally like ice. So click the link in the description box to get a coldest water bottle. You will need it during your twerk practice session. So yeah, if you have not already, make sure that you watch my first twerk video, which was uploaded some time ago. It really was just showing you guys the basics. Today, I'm gonna try to get a little more intermediate with you guys. You guys have been asking me about these twerk lessons for a really long time. It's a little hard for me to say in words how to twerk. It's something I kind of just practice. So yeah, um, you guys will definitely get better with practice. Do not, do not be concerned. Don't be alarmed, nothing. It took me a while to learn how to twerk. I didn't just pop out and just know how to twerk one day. It literally takes practice. So yeah, um, I was on live and I did my makeup and they chose red lipstick. So I kind of feel like I look like a clown, but it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. We are going to get to the twerking. So the link to this song will be in the description box. Make sure you click and the link to my coldest water bottle will be in the description box as well. I'm just going to jump right into it. Yeah, so teach me how to twerk part two, period. Okie dokie, so hopefully everything is in focus. This outfit is from Fashion Nova. I just wanted to put on something that my booty can wiggle and jiggle in because that is essential for your twerking. If you need to stretch, make sure you do your stretches. I twerk all the time, so I don't need to stretch. But if you need to stretch, girl, stretch it out. Um, do not wear jeans when you're trying to twerk. That's essential. I said that in my last video. Make sure you're wearing something that you can move in, especially if you don't have a big booty because we need maximum jiggle potential. If you guys watched my last video, y'all know that term. So I'm wearing a onesie. When I go out, when I'm gonna be dancing, I like to wear one pieces, I like to wear shorts, I like to wear leggings, anything that's loose and gives me like, you know, some room to jiggle. So um, the first thing I was going to show you guys is pretty simple too. It's like when you spread your legs and you you know, I don't know what to call this. I don't know if you would call this making it collab. I'm not really sure if that's what it's called, but just like the jiggle. To me, it's like a jiggle type of move. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys from every angle how it looks, and then I'm gonna show you guys what I do. And then yeah, at the end, we're gonna try everything with music. So yeah, like I said, if you didn't watch my last trick video, make sure that you watch it before you try this one. I'm trying to do it in steps of like easiest to hardest for y'all. So once again, here we are from the front. Give it a little jiggle. From the side. From the back. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you guys to my legs so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so for the first like make it clap type of thing, what you're gonna do is 
you're, when you're doing the move, your legs have to be locked out. That means that like your knees aren't bent, they are locked out fully and not bent at all. They're as straight as you can get them. The move that you're basically doing with your legs locked out is if my legs were bent, they would be going in and out. That is the move that you're doing. You're doing that move of putting your legs, you put both of your knees inward to where they're almost touching each other or where you're trying to touch your knees. And then you put both of your knees out to where they're facing the opposite direction of each other. So in, out, in, out. So you're gonna do that move, but with your legs locked out instead. Trying to face your knees toward the inside of each other, it's like when you're pigeon toed trying to put your knees toward each other, then put them out, the facing the opposite direction. So in, out, in, out. Once again, in order to get your, in order to get everything to jiggle and move the right way, you're gonna make sure that you're loose, you're not holding your butt in. Y'all know this, when you like, when you're clenching, you're not doing this. This, nothing's gonna move when you're doing this. It doesn't work. So yeah, once again, Keep everything loose, just relax, take a deep breath. If you need some shots, if you need some liquor, do that. And keep your legs locked out. Make sure your knees are locked all the way out. And try to point your knees inward, then point them outward. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. And you're just going to do it faster. It's basically just like this kind of motion, like in, this kind of motion, but you're doing it with your legs locked out. Don't confuse locking out your legs with being stiff and holding everything in. You're just making sure your knees are bent, that's all. In, out, in, out. Of course, my legs are locked out, so it's harder to see like the in and the out, but that's how it is. Keep your feet planted firmly down. You don't need to be on your tippy toes or nothing like that. You could do it on your tippy toes, but you really don't need to. You could be flat on your feet. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna teach you guys is, this is what making a clap means to me. And this is very easy. Like, I understand that everybody won't be able to do this because I feel like at one point I wasn't able to do it. Maybe when I gained a little bit of weight, that's when I was able to do this but you're still gonna give the illusion even if it doesn't make the sound, okay? So basically what you do, you're gonna put both your feet together and you're gonna <laughs> Hopefully you guys can hear that. I'm not sure if you can, but. So to me, that's what making a clap is. It's really easy, honestly. Um, and you get the clap, the round of applause sound. Yeah, uh, you hear like a lot of strippers do that and a lot of dancers. This is more of like a party trick, you know, something you pull out of the bag that'll really like just shock the room. Like if you're trying to just show out, this is the trick that you'll pull out. So I'm going to do it from the side and the back and then I'm going to give you guys like a close up so you guys can see what I'm doing. So from the side, make a clap. Okay, so to make it clap, like the party trick version, the, uh, you know, try to get the sound. What you're going to do is you're going to put your feet about shoulders width apart. Like you're not really gonna have them out. You're not really gonna have them touching. You could put them closer together if that works for you. But since my thighs touch right here, this works for me. But if, you're, if you have a thigh gap, you probably wanna try to put your feet closer together. Shoulders width apart works for me. My thighs are touching. Basically what you're doing is you're basically giving a jumping up and down kind of illusion, but you're not taking your feet off the ground. Rising up on the balls of your feet and you're gonna go down. But when you go down, you're not gonna touch the ground all the way. So you're gonna go up, down, almost all the way to the ground, but not all the way to the ground. Up on your very tippy toes, down almost to the ground. Up on your very tippy toes, down almost to the ground. And then this is how I am when I'm flat. So you know I'm not going all the way down. It is basically a bounce that you're doing on the balls of your feet. 
while you're doing that, you so in order to actually make the sound or like get the illusion of the clapping, you're gonna have to do that very fast. So it's like a jumping type of thing, but you're not actually jumping. So doing it like that, you're kind of like forcing your cheeks to go together to clap to make the sound. Whether it's your cheeks, whether it's your thighs, whatever, it's gonna give the illusion that your butt is clapping. So you're gonna go up on the balls of your toes. You're gonna arch your back out. You don't have to do it a lot. It's just a slight arch. And then when you go down, you're gonna like bring your cheeks together. So that's how you kind of bring your cheeks together is by clenching. So you're gonna go up and arch, down and clench. Up and arch, down and clench. This is how it looks from the back again. I'm putting my hands on this wall. Y'all can hold on to something if y'all need to. So if you can see when I'm going up, I'm arching my back out. And I can tell I'm arching because my stomach is kind of like sticking out a little bit. And you can see right here. And then when I go down, I'm clenching in. And that's what's creating the clap sound, so. We're going to call this one the sway, but that's what we're gonna call it because I really don't know what a good word to call it is. So yeah, the sway is basically like you have your legs and you just... So, you know, pretty simple. Like, instead of the first move where your um, butt is kind of going the opposite ways of each other, so when they go out, they both go out. When they go in, they both go in, so they're going opposites. These are going the same way. So it's like you go this way, you go that way. You go this way, you go that way. And they're moving in unison as opposed to like going apart from each other. So this is how it looks. And you just take it forward. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys from the side. Get my bones cracking. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're gonna call that one a sway. This one is really easy. Um, you're basically just twisting your hips. I put my legs a little further than shoulders width apart. Um, basically like the outside of my shoulders. And then it's just like you're doing a twist. So twist your waist all the way on your right side and then twist your waist all the way on your left side twist 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 um and when you're doing this it would like make your knee bend that's how you know you're like kind of going far enough um the when you're doing it when you're doing it while you're twerking you're gonna have your legs locked out again um and you're going to do the same move but you're going to do it with your legs locked out. Earlier we were doing it with our knees bent. This time we're gonna do it with our legs locked out. So you're not gonna be able to go as far forward because your legs are locked out or else you might hurt yourself, so don't do that. You're just going to do a twist on this side and take it right into a twist on this side. Twist on this side, twist on this side. Once again, you have to stay loose so that everything jiggles and moves how it's supposed to. Do not be clenching and clenching your butt because nothing's gonna happen. And it's gonna look really stiff and bad. So just make sure you relax, like I said. Make sure everything is loose. Just make sure your legs are locked out, not bent. Make sure they're locked out. So yeah, that's all that is. And literally, you do it faster. And what you're gonna do is keep your upper body still. You're not going to twist your whole body. Just the lower half is moving. And really only from your waist down to like your knees is really what should be moving. Your feet should be planted firmly on the ground. Do not move your feet. Leave them planted firmly. Have your legs locked out and move your waist. Do not move your whole upper body like I'm doing right now. This is just to show you guys the movement that you'll be doing. And it's really hard to do if you're not doing it fast because it, it, it nothing jiggles. You'll feel your weight shifting and that's how you know you're doing it right. If you're doing it slowly, nothing's happening. But if you're doing it right, 
your weight is going to shift from side to side. So by the time you're going to the next side, you'll feel your weight on this side. When you're going to the next side, you'll feel your weight on this side. So that's how you know you're doing it right. Once again, you don't need to go all the way over here. Just side to side. Twisting motion. By the time I'm going this way, I feel my weight shifting over here. By the time I'm going this way, I feel my weight shifting over here. So yeah, that's basically how you do that. Um, and then I was leaning forward when I was doing it. All you have to do, do the same thing and just lean forward. But keep doing the same thing. Don't change nothing. Just lean forward. And you can go all the way down the top of how far you can go. You can touch your toes. Or whatever. Yeah. So it's basically just shifting your weight. That's what making that's what's making your butt jiggle. So I'm gonna do it from the back. Once again, it's like you're twisting. When you're twisting with your legs locked out. And you have to do it fast, and your weight is shifting. And then you can lean forward. Of course, when I'm leaning myself forward, the back is just come naturally. So I'm leaning forward, the back is going out. And yeah, touch the ground or stay up. guys enjoyed this tutorial please be sure to like comment and subscribe don't forget to follow me on tiktok twitter and instagram at you guys with three o's and my new snapchat diamond goods with three o's stream my song wtfgo and get yourself a coldest water bottle all the links will be down in the description box and yeah hopefully this helps you guys and Y'all are able to learn some new moves. It's so crazy because I've been meeting people and they tell me that I help them learn how to twerk. So that's great. Hopefully these help. If it actually helps you, please leave a comment if it helps you. Whew. So yeah, I will try to make sure that the next video is not blurry. I'm really sorry about that. The struggle. But yeah, I will see you guys next time. Not the bang. The bang.